substance is a type of lipid or as is most commonly known a fat. Many people know that it can be harmful to their health. However, it's actually essential in the formation of cell membranes. Today's video will discuss everything you should know about cholesterol. Before you watch this video, please take a moment to subscribe our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button, then tap the bell icon so you will be the first to know when you post new videos daily. Overall, this membrane helps regulate the entry and exit of substances into the cells. It's a selectively permeable barrier that can block or increase a particular activity. Basically, this substance keeps your cell working. In more technical terms, it's a sterile. Sterols are steroids with 27 to 29 carbon atoms. Where can you find it? We can find it in vertebrate animals and humans in the following areas. Body tissues, blood plasma, blood pressure, stones. 75 of body's cholesterol comes from your liver. The remaining 25% comes from the food you eat. Food intake and cholesterol. When food reaches your stomach, you break it down into different elements. At this time, you absorb the nutrients and they enter your bloodstream. These nutrients circulate in the form of carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids. The nutrients merge when they reach the river. This results in high and low density lipoprotein that distribute cholesterol to different parts of the body. Really, high cholesterol level can cause major health problems. This usually happens due to excessive congestion of foods rich in saturated fats such as fried foods, canned foods, red meat, sausages, and dairy products, among others. Be confusing, no matter what, you have to know how to distinguish between the two types of lipoproteins, low-density lipoproteins and high-density lipoproteins. This way, you can determine if your cholesterol is harming your health or not. High-density lipoproteins are responsible for collecting and retaining excess cholesterol to the river. Therefore, these lipoproteins are good for the body, high cholesterol and your diet. To prevent LDL or bad cholesterol levels from, from skyrocketing, you should follow a diet rich in monounsaturated fatty acids, fiber, and plant sterols. It's best to eat fruits of high nutrients value, for example, fruit, grains, fish, vegetables, legumes, and of course, you should cut out saturated fats from your diet. You can find saturated fats in potato chips processed foods such as bacon, sausage, and ham, and fast food. On the other hand, the consumption of dairy products isn't recommended. If you have high cholesterol, you should adopt healthy lifestyle habits to regulate it, and you should be under regular medical supervision. Cholesterol and exercise in addition, doctors recommend exercising at least 30 minutes a day. Doing this has a lot of health benefits, meaning exercising is totally worth your while. To burn calories and fats that maintain a healthy weight, doctors recommended going for a cardiovascular and aerobic exercise routine. They also recommended people go up and down stairs as often as possible and avoid sedentary lifestyles. Developing a workout plan with the help of a healthcare professional will impact your health and well-being positively. It's a matter of maintaining SDL or good cholesterol and getting rid of bad or LDL cholesterol. You should complement your exercise routine with an appropriate eating plan. When in doubt, you can speak with a nutritionist who's an expert in this field. What do you think of this important information? Let me know in our comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. For more daily tips, subscribe to our channel below. Thank you.